Flamingo and Perdita arrive home with all the stolen puppies. Anita thinks there must be a hundred. A hundred and one, counts Roger. Why, we'll have a Dalmatian plantation. Hooray for Captain Sand, everyone shouts. Then they cheer for their grand adventure. And in a shimmer of pixie dust, Peter flies Wendy and her brothers back home. After a great escape, Nemo finds his dad. At last, the two clownfish and their new pal Dory return home. Martin is proud of his brave son. After hearing of Pooh's difficult day full of bees and woozle traps, Christopher Robin has a surprise for his friend. A gigantic pot of honey. Pooh's dream has come true. Simba becomes king. His kingdom becomes a happy place again. Soon, there is another joyous day. A new lion cub is born. Aladdin sets the genie free and then turns to the princess. Jasmine, I'm sorry I lied to you about being a prince, says Aladdin. Jasmine forgives him. And with her father's blessing, she marries Aladdin, her true love. Before he leaves for college, Andy gets an idea. He gives his favorite toys to a child who will love them as much as he always has, and always will. Snow White and the Prince fall in love. With a fond farewell from their dear friends, they set off to live the happiest of happily ever after. Let's read the You did it! Miss Moshley exclaims. All it took was a broom and dustpan, says Bert. And cooperation, says Ernie. Achoo, sneezes Miss Moshley. I mean, thank you. The two frogs get married. This makes Tiana a princess, so her kiss turns them back into humans. Tiana and Naveen open a restaurant and fulfill their dreams the friends relax at last in Andy's new home. They are glad to be together, and they are glad to be toys. With help from a magical genie, Ali, who's really Aladdin, returns to defeat Jafar. The grateful sultan tells Jasmine she may marry whomever she wants. I choose you, Aladdin, says the princess. Sometimes, Luna Girl just wants a playmate. Try to find four red ribbons, one for each friend. <laughs>